question I've been seeing a lot on places like Reddit, Discord, and YouTube comments is how do you record PS3? And the answer I've always seen is that they need to buy an expensive capture card for $100 or more. But this is not necessarily true anymore. Capture cards used to be real expensive and they still are from sellers like Elgato. But something a lot of people don't know is you can actually get a really good capture card for as low as $8 on sites like Amazon and eBay. Today I'll be talking about the capture card I personally own and how to get one yourself. Enjoy! Now the capture card I'm talking about is kinda weird. You see, there isn't a specific brand who sells them. Multiple sellers sell this capture card on different sites and they all cost different amounts. I personally got mine from Amazon for $15, but you can also buy one for under $10 on sites like eBay. So how do you know that you're buying the right capture card? Well, if it looks like this with the text HDMI video capture on the front, it should be the right one. Something you should know before buying this capture card is that the quality control of this capture card isn't always great, so that's why I recommend you buying it from Amazon because you can easily contact them for a replacement. Something that's unique for this capture card is that it actually bypasses HDCP. HDCP is an anti-piracy method which blocks capture cards from not capturing. This has always been a pest for people who want to record PS3 because the PS3 has HDCP. The solution has always been to get an HDMI splitter which strips the HDCP, but this capture card somehow managed to bypass it. That being said, you should still get an HDMI splitter for this capture card, and that's because if you look at the capture card, there's only one output. Most capture cards have two outputs, one for the monitor and one for the PC. This is so you can play without any input lag on your monitor, but this capture card doesn't do that, so the only way of seeing what you're playing without a splitter is to look at the preview, and this does have noticeable input lag. The splitter I personally use is one that I bought from a Swedish site for about another $15. Although this capture card is great for recording PS3 gameplay, it's not as good on other consoles, and that's because this capture card is only capable of doing either 720p 60fps or 1080p 30fps. These limitations don't affect recording PS3 as barely any games were in 1080p, let alone 60fps. But if you're planning to record on a new console, keep that in mind. Also, my friend who's got the same capture card has struggled with recording PS4 with it. I'm not sure if that's because he's doing something wrong or not, but I just wanted to let that out. Thanks for watching this video. I made this video to let everyone know that recording PS3 isn't expensive as anyone thinks. If you want a more in-depth review of this capture card, I'm putting one in the description. I really appreciate you watching through the whole video, and goodbye.